wanted to say welcome, a very, very big welcome and thank you for coming and making the time out of um, week eight because I know you're madly doing assignments and things as well. Um, and to, yeah, just to say thank you and welcome for coming. Uh, initially, just to um, acknowledge the, the Ngunnawal people and to remember that we're meeting on their land, the traditional custodians of, um, of the region that we're on now, the place where you've been studying and living probably for the last three and a half years at least. Um, so, and to pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to acknowledge the influence that that style of learning or the, the place that we're on and that has um, uh, for what we're doing. And I've got an image here that is um, an indigenous painting, dot painting. Um, and I guess I like to use this one because it is about journeying and about the central nature of communities in the middle and the journeys that we take to get anywhere. Now for, for you folk towards the end of your degree, and some people are finishing at the end of this semester, some at the end of winter, and others at the end of the year. So it's the culmination of a, you know, quite a long journey. So we're still journeying together, um, remembering we're helping you along that journey, but you're at the middle of that journey. You're at the, the heart of it. And the centre here is our community of practice. That's kind of where we're at and we're a part of it at the UC, at uni. So with that in mind, we're having a session. Now, for some people, this journey may have been a little bit rocky for different reasons. Um, we appreciate within our faculty that we've had a lot of curriculum renewal um, with the, old the, the new degrees, and they started last year. Many of you will have taken some new units as a part of your, your existing degree, and we thank you for coming along that part of our journey with us, but it's a part of a pr um, sort of providing, I guess, for the teacher profession for you within that as you go along your journey. So thank you for putting up with some of the rockiness that we may have imposed upon you with new, new units and old units and things like that. Has anybody been in that position where they felt a little unsettled by it? Yeah? Okay, so we thank you for that, but there are reasons for that. And in any journey through lifelong education, lifelong learning, there will be ups and downs, but remembering that you know, if we talk to each other, keep communicating, keep working out a plan, then we can all help each other through that journey. So today is really to help, I guess, front load you with a little bit of information about how to negotiate the next stages, the final stages for most of you in that journey. And if there are any more hiccups that are outside of your control or our control, what steps there are to take that will help you, uh, you know, just assist you in negotiating all of that sort of stuff. So that's what this is for. There are formal slides. It's being recorded for people if you want to listen to it again or for the people who can't be here right now who can listen to it in uh, radio land. So I guess if you've come, you should be in one of these two degrees. Is there anybody who's not in one of these two degrees right now? The general information will help anyway, but if you're in secondary ed, come this afternoon. Um, so Bachelor of Education and the grad entry. So this is for option one and option two in the primary degree and the grad entry. And we've got a few key people. I talked about this community of practice. The initial teacher education program is a part of that community of practice. We work very uh, constructively and deliberately to design courses that will meet professional needs, professional accreditation, so all those sorts of things, and all with you as learner in mind and the school-based learners out there in the profession. So with all of that, there's just all these, these people in the background working very hard. Uh, Wayne Hawkins over here is now the director of curriculum. Professor, um, Associate Professor David Patterson is our um, academic program director for initial teacher education. I'm the course coordinator for initial teacher education. And Lee and Rosie and Shane and a whole bunch of other people are the administrative support team, the professional support team. There's actually quite a lot of us in the background. And also in the way background, student progress and graduation, enrolment, student center. A lot of people helping you go through your journey. So just to remember us helping you, but really at the forefront is you doing the work and the heavy lifting up front. So this is about the heavy lifting part now too. Um, oh, and I guess these are some of the hurdles that I talked about that you may have encountered with the transitioning from, for us, with our curriculum, with our old degrees to our new degrees. Sometimes we can't offer everything all the time. So unit availability as course convener is something that I've uh, heard a lot about. Um, and helped people along with decisions to make of an academic background uh, nature, 
the, the sorts of units that you can do instead of other things that we otherwise would have been available to you. Um, and we have new ones, we have other ways to, to find out units. So it's a feature of easing out of an old degree and into a new degree, and in that easing process, there are things that I can help you with. So please, if you have any issues with unit availability, make an appointment to come and see me, because most of the time it's a case-by-case -case situation. Whilst we think that as students, undergrad students, pre-service teachers, most of your situations would be the same, they're not really. Everyone has a lot of little differences, a lot of nuances in your life and in your trajectory or the pathway that you've come to, you know, you've studied pattern and all that sort of stuff. So there are lots of little differences that I can help, help you with. So it is a feature of that easing out of the old and into the new for us in our faculty, but along the way, we're trying to help you as best as we can. Um, so we have a bunch of units in winter term as well that we're offering from the old degree, your degrees, and the new degrees as well. Now, um, it depends on case by case as to whether some of the, uh, ideally it'd be from the old degree offerings. Um, out the front, out, sorry, out in the foyer, we've got a list of the winter term units. Most of you will have seen this through an email already. Uh, it'll be on the uh, All Teacher Education Moodle site as well, but you'll see these posters, A3, um, as well as the A4s, and you can take a copy um, as you go out as well. But we have a list of the unit offerings. Um, in the next slide, I've uh, consolidated just the ones that relate to the primary ed degree for you, um, from the old degree and the new degree, so you can have a look at the selection, synthesised selection for your, your courses. Um, and then there'll be the standard suite for semester two as well. Now, if, there are need, if you need variations, depending on your course, uh, depending on your timetable and your needs and all sorts of things, then come and see me and I'll work that out. One of the most standard questions that I've had to deal with during this semester has been um, the uh, replacement for one of the units in your restricted choice electives. The restricted choice unit was TESOL. Um, so who's got it down to do TESOL in semester two? It was a semester two offering, yeah? So if you need a replacement for that, core example is one of these three offerings. All these come from the, the minor in TESOL, so you can have a look on that on the unit database. Um, if you just plug in that code and you will find this list and the relevant um, prerequisites. Many people that I have seen have done one or either of, one or both of the two prerequisites for the, uh, this language acquisition. So you can really select um, alternatives that enhance uh, what you already know. Uh, help to fill a gap in your knowledge or experience base or your confidence base when you're teaching. So this is where case by case I can help you manage the decision about that and give you some options. And if necessary, do the required paperwork to support that choice. Um, so that's one very common case. But you can see, you know, just by there's one unit that's no longer available and that's offered through, was offered through Faculty of Arts and Design at the time. But that's out of our control, the offering of that. But what's in our control is what we can select with academic integrity, for your teaching profession, for your career, um, and what you've done already, and where you would like to go with it. So there's quite a lot of decision making there we can help you with. Um, likewise with semester two, but I think the semester two offerings are fairly standard for what was um, in your existing degrees anyway. Yep, sure. I just wanted to assure everybody that um, that, Thank you. that um, 